Hey everyone, so I was originally going to make a big video about OSPF transit capability, but instead I decided to split it up into two videos. Um, in this first video, I'm going to show you what OSPF area transit capability is, why it's there, and then in the second video, I'm going to show you how we could use it for traffic engineering. Um, so in this network, you can see here, I have three areas. Router 1 has a loopback of 1.1.1.1. That's in area zero. Routers one, two, and three are all in area one, two, three. And then router four is in area 34. So we know that in OSBF, uh, the only way to get these areas, and let me open up my pen so I could draw for you, is in order for router one to see router four, I need to have a virtual link here. So router one through router four, that needs to be a virtual link, which I will do VL. Okay, this I already have set up, but I just wanna go over with you, show IP route OSPF. I already have 4.4.4.4. And if I do a show IP OSPF neighbor, that is because of this virtual link. So, so far so good. Now I'm gonna introduce a problem that transit capability solves. And the way I'm gonna do that is by going on R2, and I already have a loopback created, but I'm gonna add this loopback into OSPF. So we'll have a loopback here, and this is gonna be area Two. Now, the reason this is going to be a problem is because R2 is not a border router. Therefore, it as well will need a virtual link to R1. So what I'm going to do is before, well, I'll go to loopback and I'll IP OSBF 1 area 2. So it has a loopback. Now we could see on router 1, let's do, I don't see the loopback here. So I'll go to router OSPF and area one, two, three, virtual link to router, whoops, to router one. Area one, two, three, virtual two. All right, that came up. And now let's do a show IP routes OSPF. And now I can see that. Okay, so now we have another virtual link that um, I'll draw that on the board as well. Here from router two to router one, we have another virtual link. Now, where does transit capability come into play with this? Well, the definition says that it provides the ability for an ABR to discover shorter paths through the transit area that would normally need to travel through the virtual link path. So let's go to R2 and I'm gonna shut off uh, router OSPF1, no capability transit. Show IP route OSPF. Okay, so the link to four now has a next hop of one. This is with the transit capability turned off. The reason it has the next hop of one is because by default, it needs to travel through the backbone area. So I need to go through this virtual link to one because it's area zero, and then router one would send it along to router four. The problem here is that this is a loop. So if we trace, um, loop back one. I had uh, just two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way. So we have a loop condition here. This is what the transit capability does. It allows me to discover the shorter path, which in our case would be directly to three and then four. So again, let's look at the show IP route for 4.4.4.4. .4 .4 .4. You can see the next hop is 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. And now 
router OSB F1, um, capability transit. Now let's take a look at the route entry. Now it shows the route entry is three. And if I trace, now I'm going right to three to four. So that's what the area transit capability does. So the definition might sound confusing, but it makes sense if we break it into chunks. It allows the ABR, which is which in our case is router two, with the ability to take the shorter path, which would be through three, for traffic that would normally need to travel through the virtual link path, which is to one. So if without it, you saw we had a loop, but with it, we could just use the shortest path. So that's what a OSPF area transit capability is. Um, I hope it was clear and I hope you kind of understood it. I would recommend following along, maybe go through the video again, follow along, lap it up yourself so you can see what it does. In the next video, I'm gonna add some more routers to this network, and then we're gonna do some traffic engineering with the transit capability. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you on the next one.